So we're here with Kinsey Abdullah of Numbi Arts, who produced this exhibition, which you see at Tower Hamlet's archive. Um, and she's going to tell you why you should visit this exhibition, what it's about. Yep, so this is an exhibition, it's called the Somali Museum. Um, so it's exhibition is only here for two weeks, and it's inspired by the work um, of Somali history, Somali presence, um, in East End of London. Um, Somali is uh, one of the oldest African communities in Britain, um, in the UK at large, and um, a lot of that history, um, it's in archives, some of it is in people's oral histories and stories. So what we're trying to do is, from a project that we did a few years ago, coming here, being here, um, on the presence of Somali community in the East End, particularly, and some of this work, is, this is called Akal. So it's a, an exhibition stand, mobile archive, inspired by nomadic vernacular architecture and house. Um, and it's got some of the streets and the houses um, where Somali um, had, uh, Somalis um, had coffee houses, had boarding houses, seaman settlers, settlements. Um, famous, some of these buildings are not there anymore. Um, so, and this is some of the young people that worked with the project. So, we've taken this exhibition around um, the Akal to different sites, including um, the British Library, um, British Museum. Um, the, the, lately, we've taken it to the Museum of London Docklands, um, and we worked with a group of um, supplementary school kids and their families um, around the idea of celebrating languages of London and we looked at the history of Somali language. Um, this stamp section came from the British Library and the British Library has an amazing collection of stamps and books and a lot of amazing stuff that um, we, we did a workshop there again, we were invited to um, but to do a workshop and created postcards and used this stamp, so collage with them. We did that last year. Um, some of the stuff that you see here is from our own Lindy, um archive, and our archive has mainly music, books, magazines, zines, um, pictures that we have taken. Um, also, in the exhibition, you will find cuttings um, from Tahamit's here from the archive, and um, they've got an amazing collection of Somali stories and newspaper cuttings and pictures and films and um, all the history that we've done over the years. Um, so we've chosen the selection here, which um, is 30 years ago that Somali Week Festival was founded um, at Axel House. Um, so some of these commemorate that. Um, these are uh, Posters from um, over the years, and there'll be posters from different events that we did, um, different things that we've worked on. Um, so you have all the new posters which we are hiding here, um, but they're from at the moment from our Lumbi archive. This is a selection of artwork done by Paul Styron, and some of the, some of my posters from X Ray Specs. Um, uh, uh, a punk band that Paula Styrene was a lead singer of Dandra. Um, so this is some of her own drawings. Um, uh, this is her signature. And Paula Styrene, um, Mariam Elliot Said, was um, of Somali heritage. Her father was from the East End, he was a seaman. Um, so, how long is the exhibition running for? Till the 12th of July. And how can people find out more about Numbi Arts? Um, they can go to our website, uh, numbi.org. They can follow us on Instagram, at Numbi. Um, Twitter, at Numbi Arts. Uh, Instagram, at Numbi Arts. Um, yeah, please come and check our exhibition. Um, follow us, we've got a Numbi Festival at the moment. The hashtag is um, NumbiFest2019. Okay, thank um, you. Follow us. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. For coming.